good morning and happy Tuesday. Today is Tuesday, January, uh, here we go, June the 30th, and it is a beautiful day here in North Carolina. And if you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Christine Kingston, and I'm a grateful three-year recovering addict. And I come to you to read to you the Day by Day by Hazelden, the Daily Reflections by Alcoholics Anonymous, and the and the just for today daily meditation by narcotics anonymous and i read these so you don't have to and i read these to benefit my mental health um so with that being said let's get on with today's reading sorry about that um my mom had come into the room and she's going to go have her mammogram done today and i have mine done in october um so all you ladies out there please um make sure you go have your yearly mammogram um it doesn't matter what age you are don't let them lie to you and tell you that you have to be a certain age to get it um cancer runs in my family my mom had breast cancer and um she's got lung cancer now and she had some skin cancer as well so, oh great hold on okay i'm back um that was funny my mom hit the panic button on my um key alarm and didn't know how to turn it off so i had to go turn it off for her and by the time i got there she figured out how to turn it off. But anyway, um, if you're new to my channel, please like and subscribe. Um, it would mean the world to me. And um, I, I do these daily readings. I also do unboxing of numerous subscription boxes. And I do hauls and I do get ready with me's. And um, I have face masks Saturday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And, um, we have a lot of fun over there. So, with that being said, I'm going to dive into June the 29th, or June the 30th, excuse me. My days are all mixed up. Being clean and sober. Being clean and sober is, mu is more, much more than just being dry. It is a state of mind. Simply staying away from the first fix, pill, or drink is not our only goal. If we are just dry, we have not received the spiritual gifts. We still, we, hold on just a minute, guys. If we are just dry, we have not received the spiritual gifts, and we will still have unreasonable cravings for alcohol or drugs. But straight for us is a whole new way of life, not just abstinence. We try to become better people and in the process no longer need to take that first fix, pill, or drink. This is the difference between just being dry or being clean and sober by the grace of God. Have I stopped being just dry? Lord, I am thankful that I can learn how to live and no longer crave the very things that were destroying me. And yes, that's a blessing. Um, the desire to have that first drink fix or pill has been lifted for me. And um, it's an amazing feeling when it's been lifted because the cravings go away after a while. And... It's just an amazing feeling. Um, it's indescribable. So with that being said, June the 30th, out of the Daily Reflections from AA, Sacrifice, Unity, Survival. The unity, the effectiveness, and even the survival of AA will always depend upon your continued willingness to give up some of our personal ambitions and desires for the common safety and welfare. Just as sacrifice means survival for the individual alcoholic, so does sacrifice mean unity and survival for the group uh, and for AA's entire fellowship. As Bill sees it, page 220. And that's in the big blue book of Alcoholics Anonymous. I have learned that I must sacrifice some of my personality traits for the good of AA, and as a result, I have been rewarded with many gifts. 
false pride can be inflated through prestige, but by living tradition six, I received the gift of humility instead. Cooperation without aff affiliation is often deceiving. If I remain unrelated to outside interests, I am free to keep AA autonomous. Then the fellowship will be here, healthy and strong for generations to come. And um, that, as, that is as Bill sees it, and he's one of the founders of the book of AA. Um, if you like to read and you want to learn about alcoholics and alcoholics, then um, the Big Blue Book is something that you could read and you would get to know why we are the way we are and even maybe understand us a little more. Okay, so out of my new book, um, the Just For Today Daily Meditation, June the 30th, Maintaining the Foundation. Our newly found faith serves as a firm foundation for courage in the future. Basic text, page 96. And this is out of the Narcotics Anonymous book. The foundation of our lives is what the rest of our lives is built upon. We were using that foundation affected when we were using that foundation affected everything we did. When we decided to that recovery was important, that's where we began to put our energy. As a result, our whole lives changed. In order to maintain those new lives, we must maintain the foundation of those lives, our recovery program. <clears throat> As we stay clean and our lifestyles change, our priorities will also change. Our priorities will also change. Work and school may become important because they improve the quality of our lives. And new relationships may bring excitement and mutual support. But we need to remember that our recovery program is the foundation upon which our new lives work, are built. Each day we must renew our commitment to recovery, maintaining that as our top priority. Just for today, I will continue enjoying the life I've found in recovery. Today, I will take steps to maintain my foundation. And that's what I do every day up here with you guys, is I keep my foundation um, strong and um, reading these books helps me to understand some of the reasons why I think the way I do and some of the things the way I do. So with that being said, we're going to close with the serenity prayer. Oh, hold on a minute. That's what was pulling out my hair. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things that we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the difference just for today. And remember, guys, this is not the only thing I do. I do unboxings of numerous subscription boxes. I'm still waiting on my BoxyCharm base box for my other profile. I haven't gotten tracking on it, and um, it's really kind of irking me because today is the last month that I really wanted to see what I had in my box. Um, and um, I also have a giveaway that's going on that ends July the 2nd at 11.59 p.m. So make sure that you um, follow the rules down in the description box. And I have a link to that video down in the description box. So make sure you follow that link and not the video that I say that, that the giveaway is on. Follow the link. Um, it is June the 15th um, video if you want to go through and look through my, my previous videos. You can scroll through and I have it marked June the 15th giveaway video. So, um, with that being said, YouTube is not affiliated in any way, shape, or form with my giveaways. Um, I buy these products or their products that I get from my subscription boxes and I pass them along to my subscribers. So, with that being said, um, I also have face masks Saturday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So, come join me live and, um, 
so we can do chit chat and sometimes I do unboxings and other things um, while we're doing the face mask so with that being said uh, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video love you lots bye bye